Well, g'day, g'day from Mount Capitar, which is just outside Narrabri. We've uh, punched about 100 kilometers up the road from the Warren Bungles, and we're stayed here for about five nights, and uh, six nights. And uh, our first little stop off is the uh, Sawn Rocks. And they're pretty unbelievable to look at. The geological formation is what's known as organ piping. And it's uh, just, they're yeah, just so impressive. It's about 40 meters high and uh, some of them have fallen down into the creek. Camera probably won't get them, but it's almost like someone's just chiseled them out. But that's just a, uh, that's a natural volcanic formation. So I've just come down to the uh, the creek just to get a closer look at some of these fallen things and over here just looks like someone stacked them in a bunch and there's some beautiful little uh, beautiful little um, rock pool here oh god it is beautiful still flowing Got a bit of water in it oh that's gorgeous that's beautiful Probably waist deep, but yeah, look at that. This looks like someone stacked them up. Unreal. Very nice. Well, we've decided we're probably just going to get in for a little bit of a cool off. Just can't stop looking at these bloody columns, though. They're just unreal. And like some of these fallen ones. Like it's dead set like they're handmade. It's just like got perfect sides. Look at this one. It's just nice flat slab. Same there. It just looks like stairs. <laughs> What's the temperature like? Oh, it's pretty cold. How oh. beautiful is this? Oh, it's beautiful and cold. <laughs> I'm going to jump in and join you. Okay. Because this is a gorgeous little rock pool. It's only about waist deep, but it's good enough to cool off in. Yeah. And you're just swimming around like all these, all these 20 million, 21 million years old, this formation. It's pretty cool. Righto. This is where we camped. At a nice little spot just outside of Narrabri. Absolutely beautiful, right on the Namoy River, and there's fish jumping around. So, gonna rig up the rod, try a couple of uh, bits of biltong. Might try one of those lures that I got from Tumut, 
and uh, the good old faithful frog swimmer. Well, Michelle makes me a sandwich. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Just getting it all together now. That was absolutely brilliant up at the uh, Sawn Rocks up at Capita. I would probably highly recommend it. It's uh, quite mind blowing that um, you know, a bit of lava flow can uh, create those sort of shapes and big columns or organ pipes as they're uh, referred to. But yeah, what a beautiful day. So old mate's just got this, uh, this nice little mowed area of grass down here. His homestead's just over there, and we're only about 10-12k uh, out of town, so um, it's it nice and cheaper easy. Than staying in the National Park. Well, it was actually cheaper yeah. than staying in the National Park, wasn't it? Though? Yeah. So we were going to go up to um, up to Capita. You can't see it. it's over the back there, but we're going to go up to Capita and stay at the National Park. And much like the Warren Bungles, it's uh, relatively expensive. So, and the two main spots we wanted to go visit are uh, Wa Gorge or War Gorge and um, those sawn rocks we'd have to come out of the mountains and then go up the road and um, yeah it'd be a couple of hours around trip and apparently it's a little bit of a mission to get up into the um, into uh, the campgrounds up there it's a, apparently a long narrow windy road and they don't recommend you take anything like tow anything up there so um, yeah we opted just to stay in town so we can just get to those two points and we're going to go out and suss out Yarry Lake in a few days time but anyway I don't know what we'll do tomorrow we might uh, we may or may not have a, just a lounge around here day because it's just bloody beautiful. There's a nice little bank down here. Fish, swim, just relax. Or we'll go up to uh, Wa Gorge and um, do the swim, fish and relax the next day. So, uh, we'll just see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna get this rod rigged up and get some uh, a sandwich in me. And see if I can't reel in whatever fish are floating around in there. Righto, so trying something a little bit different tonight. We're going chicken and chips. Oop, burning chicken and chips. Doing a bit of unorthodox fishing there. I cast it across the, uh, across the river and she's gone into a tree, gone around the branch and then just dropped in on top of the water. So I'm hoping something smashes it between now and bedtime. So I've just left it there dangling on the surface. And we've chopped up some uh, sweet potato. This is full fat Friday, babe. It is full fat Friday. <laughs> oh, God. Fish and chips. Uh, chicken but and chips, maybe? Chicken and chips, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I was hoping for fish and chips, though, but yeah, that's didn't come I through. Get the chicken out. So we're um, shallow frying some uh, sweet potato chips. We've got, uh, we've got a little friend here. G'day, Darcy. Hey, you going, mate? Hey, how are you, Darcy? She's our... Uh, She's the uh, farmer's dog and you she's befriended us on, and uh, she's right. just hanging around. But anyway, better tend to this chicken so I don't burn it. And hopefully, we might have fish wraps for breakfast though. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not though. I live in hope. Mm. Sunset might be ruined by this cloud colour. Absolutely beautiful location though. Absolutely perfect. Chicken and chips. Oh yeah. Worked a treat. Nice, crunchy, sweet potato chips. Rags, and chicken salt from Broken Hill. Broken Hill people will know. But Rags, uh, chicken and chips, got his salt. Perfect. So uh, they'll be having salt on them. Mm -mm. Right, well here we are, day two, adventurising around Mount Capita. We've come for the uh, about an hour long ride out of uh, Narrabri to the northern tip of uh, Capita National Park to check out these uh, Milbulla waterholes and Wa Gorge. Wa Gorge, apparently it's pronounced. So anyway, got our walking shoes on again 
and um, it's apparently a grade five, grade five walk, which is the national park's uh, hardest graded walk. So we met uh, met a couple of people at camp yesterday, and um, they tried to uh, get up here yesterday, but uh, if the track in's got uh, any sort of indication about the uh, condition of the area after um, all the water and the floods, uh, yeah, we might be in for a bit of a hike because I reckon there's a lot of down trees and I uh, even suggested I should uh, throw the chainsaw in the backpack. But uh, anyway, we'll see how we go. But a uh, bit of an overcast day, so pretty good walking conditions. And uh, we'll get up this gorge and have a look around. Might even go for a swim duck. Here we are at the first little plunge pool. Might climb up the top and suss out that top one. But absolutely beautiful. So the walk to the uh, walk up the gorge is a um, classified as a wilderness area. So there's no defined track. It just says follow the um, creek. So a bit of adventurising. And there's the top pool. Beautiful. So I've climbed up a bit and uh, there's a third pool down there. Anyway, can't only just, can't only just make out the track. That's all right. Bloody beautiful. So I've made our way up the creek and uh, we've just walked into the gorge. Dwarfed by these cliff edges or gorge walls. Oh, well, we'd actually uh, thought we'd gotten there, but uh, we decided to keep going and walk further up the creek. Just all over the rock hopping, jumping over fallen trees. So I'm pretty sure this is the actual yep. wire gorge. And this is the photos of the wall. Wow. So impressive. My God. Michelle's frightening off the uh, goats. <laughs> I was making her voice echo through the gorge. I thought there'd be a bit of a pond. It might be up there where the water comes over the top to oh, yeah. form this waterfall. But yeah, I thought there might have been a pond here on the other side of these rocks, but now. What an amazing view. Absolutely unreal. We're just sitting here in absolute awe. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's beautiful. We're gonna get back down this yet. Yeah, no, it's a bit of a slippery slide. I think I'm gonna be on my butt. <laughs> Unreal.
Oh dear. Well, that was bloody stunning. Anyway, back down the uh, back down the creek, and we'll get out of here. Try and find the track back. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow me, though. Oh gosh. Don't you go wandering off. Oh gosh. <laughs>